Legend ZA is coming out next year. We don't really know too much about it though, so I thought it'd be kind of cool and interesting to make a video about what we probably will see in the game because we have one trailer so far. They haven't really said much about it otherwise. Hopefully we're getting a new trailer. There should be a Pokemon present soon, I would hope. So I'm really hoping that they will announce, you know, or give us a new trailer. I'm not expecting a full gameplay trailer by any means. Also, really quickly, guys, I'm doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. So we have to do to enter the giveaway. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below, and then stay tuned for future videos. So obviously, Megas are coming back. That's confirmed from the trailer. They have the Mega Evolution symbol. We're getting Megas coming back, and I'm going to assume we're probably going to get some new Mega Pokemon. Now, I don't really know what Mega Pokemon we're going to actually get, obviously. I'd assume they're going to probably tease one or two Mega Evolution, like new Megas that we're going to get in the next trailer. At least one. They have to. There's no way they wouldn't. But definitely Megas are coming back, which is awesome because I think that's probably the number one most loved, you know, gimmick in a Pokemon game. I think everybody just loves Mega Pokemon. They're they're just the, the coolest in my opinion, and I can't wait to see what new Mega Pokemon we get. I'd also expect there to not be any gyms. So this takes place in Lumio City, that's confirmed as well. So we're not gonna be able to go around the entire Kalos region or anything like that. And Pokemon Legends Arceus had no gyms. We had different like boss battles and stuff like that, but there were no like gyms as in the regular Pokemon game where you go to like the water gym, the fire gym, whatever. I would expect there to not be any gyms, probably some boss fight. I'd also assume that we're gonna have fights with like the enemy team and stuff like that, but overall so far as but as far as gyms go, I don't see it happening. Now going back to how this is only in Lumio City, apparently this game only takes place in Lumio City. I'm pretty sure they confirmed that. They were the ones that stated that the Pokemon company announced that. So what I'm expecting is this game to have just like a different scale because as you know, like in Pokemon games, when you go to a city, you, you don't, you're not really walking around for all that long. The city's pretty small compared to what you would think about a city being, but I feel like the scale is going to be a lot different. So the entire map is pretty much going to be like the development of Lumio City. So like buildings will look way bigger and every house is going to look more, I guess, life, like real life scale, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm explaining that correctly. I'm also kind of thinking that the beginning of the game will start with like pretty much nothing and I think the city will kind of progress as we go on and the, the game in our gameplay progresses throughout the storyline, you know what I mean? Like I feel like buildings will start to go up, maybe like after your second boss fight or whatever, you're going to get the city will have three more buildings or something like that. That's probably how it's going to go. I can't imagine Lumio City just being barren the entire time. And I'm, I'm saying the development is going to happen too because in the trailer, it looks like there's blueprints and stuff. Like it seems like very inspired by a blueprint sheet of paper. So I think that we're going to see the entire city pretty much be built. And at the end of the game, it's probably going to be completely finished like how we saw it in X and Y. I'm really excited for that. And I think it's a really cool idea because... Personally, I really enjoyed X and Y when it came out, and I played through Y a couple months ago. Actually, at this point, it's like two years ago. That's crazy. I played through Pokemon Y about two years ago, and I have appreciation for that that region, those games, so I'm excited to go back. I just think it's a really cool idea to go back into the past of a Pokemon game. Some people also think this game could take place in the past and future. I feel like it's just going to be in the past, though. I don't really think we're going to go into the future. Maybe like a, like a glimpse of the future, but I feel like it's mostly going to be in the past. But the going on in future Pokemon games, we're going to get to a point where there's so many generations, so many regions, that I think they're going to stay with this. And I think they're going to continue to do like these Legends games where we're going back to a different region, or even a brand new region, I guess you could also, they could also introduce. But like going back into an old region with a whole new storyline. Like this game looks like it's going to be taking place in the past. I don't know how far in the past. Let's just say, I don't know, 100 years maybe. Who knows? So it's like... It doesn't intrude with the storyline we got in X and Y. Like, it doesn't take away from X and Y at all. This is just a completely brand new storyline of the beginning of Lumio City and, you know, more of how the Kalos region develops. I think it'd be awesome to see, like, the origin story of Team Flare. I feel like we're going to have to have some sort of Team Flare. I, I don't know if it's going to be called Team Flare. Maybe it'll be the team that inspired Team Flare to become Team Flare. I'm saying Team Flare a lot right now. I think it'd be cool just to have Team Flare though, or maybe just the origins of Team Flare and how they became a team and organization and you know how we see them in X and Y. I think that would be pretty cool, honestly. I don't know how far we'll be able to go outside of the city. I'm assuming we'll definitely have areas of wildlife. There were some rumors a couple months ago that kind of suggested like we're going to have a bunch of underground tunnels that lead us to different wild areas. 
which, you know, seems fine, whatever. As long as we get a wilderness area, I'm fine. As, as long as we have a lot to, like, actually discover, I think that's great. Because my fear about this game is that it's going to look really gray and dull. I want color. I want, you know, nature, grass, trees, whatever. I want, I want the nature stuff. So there's no way we're not going to have a wildlife area. I know a lot of people are saying that as well. Like, how is this going to take place in the city? I don't know. But they're going to figure it out because the Pokemon company knows that the recent couple of games have been kind of, you know, lackluster, a little, little bad, you know what I'm saying? Scarlet and Violet were super fun, but man, they had their issues. And because they didn't release a game last year or this year, 2024 is a blank slate empty for Pokemon games. That means a two year gap in between a brand new Pokemon game. Also, before anyone comments about the DLC, I know they introduced the DLC to Scarlet and Violet in 2023, but I'm not classifying that as a brand new Pokemon game, of course. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have some sort of ginormous area to explore. Maybe we'll even be able to like fly a Pokemon like across the map. And I know they said it's only taking place in Lumio City, but maybe ju like just maybe we're able to really explore like super far away. I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. And since this game is a little different than Legends Arceus in the fact that, like, Legends Arceus is, like, the beginning of, you know, all Pokemon series, basically. You know, like, those are some of the first Pokeballs ever made and stuff in, in Legends Arceus, and there weren't that many people around the map. I'm assuming this game will have more people and more NPCs around, like, Lumio City and around the map or around, like, the wilderness areas and stuff like that. Like, I feel like we'll see several different, like, developments, you know what I mean? Like, different little little sections of people living different towns i guess i don't i didn't want to say the word town i'll just say town for lack of a better word right now at times legends of arceus did seem like a little bit barren i loved legends of arceus though that was a great game amazing game but sometimes i was like dang there's like i kind of wish there were people around here you know what i mean like i kind of wish i wasn't the only person in the middle of this area with the exception of like a couple of random npcs here and there i would also be ready for like some new pokemon to fly or ride on just like how we had in Legends Arceus, throughout your, your storyline, your gameplay, you had to unlock new Pokemon to, that you could fly on, you could climb up mountains, and then Legends Arceus, of course we had Meridon and Corridon that did all those things, and like, it was a, you know, like a five-in-one package Pokemon, but I would assume the same kind of gimmick as Legends Arceus, where we can ride and, you know, fly different Pokemon, rather than teaching our Pokemon those moves, like, you know, giving Fly to a Pidgey or whatever, you know what I mean? I feel like we'll have the Pokemon used for flying and riding separately than our actual team of six. Of course, I would definitely bet that there's going to be some regional variants coming. Now, I don't know how exactly how they would do this because if there are regional variants in the past, you know what I mean? Like before X and Y came out, you would think those Pokemon would be an X and Y, but I'm sure we'll definitely have some regional variants, probably like 10 or something like that. And I don't know what the starters will be. We don't have any hints of that, but just like Legends of Arceus, it's probably just going to be a mix of three different Pokemon throughout the, you know, generations. Although it could very possibly be the X and Y starters, just because this does take place in Lumio City, which is in Kalos region, which is X and Y. So I'm actually really interested to see how that will be, because it's it's a little different than Legends of Arceus, because Legends of Arceus took place in a totally different area. So we'll see. I would also be prepared for this to be a game on the Switch 2, the second Switch, the next Nintendo console, whatever it's going to be called. This could also be like a dual release where, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Xbox Series X, has like the Xbox Series X and Xbox One, it, you could play it on both consoles, but it's just the same game. Maybe this will be like that, and obviously on the Switch 2 you'd have better graphics and stuff like that. Or it could just be released on each console individually, or maybe it's just on the Switch 1, who knows. I just don't see this coming out on the Switch 1 just because of the rumors of the Switch 2 coming out probably next year or even the following year. I can't imagine them releasing a huge Pokemon game. I don't know. It could be on the Switch 1, but as we know, Pokemon games on the Switch 1, you know, I don't know. Scarlet and Violet really, really uh, spoke a lot. I think it would be great to have it on the Switch 2 because obviously I'm going to get the Switch 2. I'm sure most of you guys watching this video will get the Switch too, but that's pretty much all I could think about at the moment. I definitely want to make another video, like the exact same video as this, but when we get another trailer or even just some more information, because we're getting closer and closer to the release of the game, which is in 2025. I don't think they said a specific month. I, I think they just said 2025. So we're definitely going to get more leaks, more information, more data, whatever, more trailers. And we're going to get some more confirmations of what exactly is going to be in this game. I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm hyped because Legends Arceus was super, 
was so fun. Personally, Legends RCS is my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch. I just think it was like a really ambitious game and I'm super happy and excited that they're doing another Legends game. And now that I think about it, I wonder if there's going to be any connections to Legends Arceus, because if it is in the Legends franchise, maybe there's going to be some sort of little connection. I don't think there's going to be a huge connection just because I feel like there's a big time gap, but we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.